Hello, Tendies, Friendies. Welcome back to Tendies Club. Great to see you. Got a great show for you. 87,000 call and put options are expiring this Friday, and we have a short week. So there's only four trading days until that. Is that why there's so much FUD from Seeking Alpha in the New Yorker now? I think so. We'll take a look at that. There's also an awesome graph of uh, of a simiflin, the first drug to ever show an improvement in, uh, as Dr. Aptor says, the first drug to ever show an improvement in Alzheimer's disease. We'll take a look at that graph. And my gosh darn letting, I'll get my letting fixed for the next one. It's the afternoon, so I got the letting behind me coming in. The auto here just won't, it'll, maybe it'll, depending where I stand, maybe it gets better. But I'll get the letting fixed. And uh, we'll get, uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that. There's also some more help we'll take a look at that can possibly come and help us. And then Dr. Aptor is, Dr. Jeffrey Aptor is coming to uh, visit us tomorrow. Tomorrow. And so we'll take a look at those uh, questions we have for him. And we'll, uh, and we can add to that. So, let's get into it. Let's get ready to rumble. Uh, I'm not. I'm not an investment advisor. This is not investment advice. I need more lyrics to this song. This is Tendy's Club. Uh, please uh, chat a lot and comment a lot and subscribe and uh, subscribe. Ooh, uh, the lighting is coming on. Then there was lights, and there was. Let there be lights. Let there be lights, and there was. Uh, and subscribe. Have a lot of fun. Subscribe and get the alerts and chat and like and share the love. Let's do it. All righty then. So today is Monday, January 17th. Of course, the stock market is closed. So we have options expiration on uh, the 21st. 21st. Let me move myself again. I forgot to do my joke. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. All right. So. Looking at the open interest here. So I'm looking at the open interest to see the total number of open com of option contracts. So I went through and added these up quick. So these expire on Friday. So the open interest in the calls. So you got 288, 712, 1300, 6700. This is just between 35 and 55. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's see them all. Let's see them all. Let's see them all. Show them all. Oh, they have the open interest. Oh, they have the open. Hey, I got. Oh, my gosh. I was pretty close. Look at that. They showed the open interest. It was 41,000 and 47,000. Look at me. I I did a quick, I did 42 and 45. So 41 and 47, pretty close. I said, I, I, I eyeballed it and said there's about 42,000 and 45,000. Well, there's 41 and 47. So I, I guessed 87,000. There's 88,000. Pretty good eyeballing. Okay, so going down to the strikes of 250. So open interest is 61, 38, 347. So the open interest, if you add them all up, this is for the calls. This is, for, this is only for it expires on Friday. Okay, look, there's a lot of, so you get some real big open interest. Let me make sure I'm not conf conflating open interest and volume here. So some real big open at 45, which is where we're about. It's, there's 1,300 contracts, 6,700 call contracts at 50. So whoever wrote those, that's 67,000 calls they wrote. So that's six, uh, so slide the, the zero, add two zeros. So 678,000 uh 678,000 shares. So let's say, let's say the citizens petition gets uh, dismissed and so does the city university of New York ac accusation. And, uh, and let's say that, uh, that Remy issues that preferred, preferred, uh, preferred share dividend. And we go to, let's just say we go to hundred tomorrow before, before Friday. So, so these $50 contracts, these strikes of 50. So the strike price is 50 bucks. And this person's on the hook for for sixty seven hundred of them, so that's six hundred that's six hundred seventy eight thousand times. So if if they if 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 they have to uh, if somebody owns the right to buy them at fifty and the share goes to a hundred, that's fifty bucks they lose on each time. So six hundred seventy eight thousand times fifty bucks. So that's like three hundred forty thousand times a hundred bucks. So that's three point four. That's thirty four million dollars right there. Thirty four million dollars right there. Just that right there. So. If you do the math, if you do, there's about four hundred million dollars. If you just if you just take, so there's really eighty eight thousand. So we gotta we gotta add a little bit more. But so we'll call this four hundred million, four hundred million. So eighty seven thousand calls and puts. And remember, each each contract is a contract for one hundred shares, not one. Each contract is worth a hundred. So eighty seven thousand, really eighty eight thousand times a hundred. And then let's just talk. What kind of dollars are we talking about? Well, the share price is around forty five. So we're talking about the neighborhood of four hundred million dollars is what we're, is what it's at stake here. So in this in this case here, if it, if it did go to one hundred, it'd be about half a half a billion dollars 
just right there, just expiring this Friday. That's just expiring this Friday. So why is it so important to, to trump up all the same old crap in the New Yorker? Because these options are expiring. So these are the calls, and, and then there's puts. So if they could, I don't think there's any way they're going to push it. I think, I think they're, they're, they're dreams of pushing it under 30 and pushing it under 35 and pushing it under 20 and pushing it under 10 and just destroying this company and pushing it under, and, and pushing it under 40. So their dreams of all these, of all these, all these are going to expire worthless. So all this stuff's they're going to expire worthless if they don't uh, get this thing trashed. And somebody else is going to make a lot of money off of them if, they, if the stock goes up a lot. So that's why, for one reason, there's a lot of follow the money, right? There's a lot of dollars at stake this Friday, and that expires this Friday, end of end of business. And then there's, I think there, there's, there can be some more help. So I found somebody that can help us. He's from the future. And now he's talking about the shorts here. So he just said, he just said the shorts, but he's referring to the shorts as it. So the shorts are like a, a plague, the plague, it, the plague, the disease of the shorts, it. It's coming to get us. And so this guy's from the future. He's going to help us with the shorts, but he's giving us a warning about, about it, about it, about the short, the disease of the shorts. Let's hear about it. Out there. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear. And it absolutely will not stop ever until you are dead. Until you are dead. It will not stop. I'm going to turn that up and just do it one more time is out there it can't be bargained with it can't be reasoned with it doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear and it absolutely will not stop ever <laughs> until you are dead so dr pitt and dr brett don't feel pity they don't feel remorse and they will not stop ever until we're dead and look at this Sure. Look at this. So here, we, the gray, the gray here is the placebo. So one thing I thought was interesting: the, the green, the blue, and the tan, or the peach. Those are these are all uh, the monoclonal antibodies that don't work. And then so so at, at some points it's actually worse than placebo. And then of course there's the side effects to which are horrible. But this then it's like well how does it's literally I don't think it works at all. I don't think it works at all at all at all at all at all. So how are they ever so slightly beating placebo? I think with dropouts, I think by, by, by strategically excluding people and including people and making people that are doing a little bit better, including them, people doing a little bit worse, excluding them for some reason. I think that's how they can do that. But still, they can't fake that it doesn't just doesn't work. Well, how about uh, semifilam? Kerplow, kaboom, kerslam. And that's something we've seen with other uh, small molecules targeting misfolding proteins. The uh, effect gets better and better over time. Two years, two and a half years, we looked at some. Uh, maybe I'll bring that article up for next time, but uh, that's there's, there's really good effect on those. Heck, maybe I'll bring it up while we, while we chat. And with that, my attendees, friendies, speaking of chatting, speaking, oh, and, and that was from the, the Saba Discord, or and, and, and also the attendees club Discord, someone on there uh, posted that. Thank you very much. And good idea, someone posted, uh, good, why don't you uh, share that in today's show? Good idea. Thank you. And with that, my tennis friendies, let's go to the phones. Looks like party time. Hey, hey, thank you, Daily Mix, for being here. That's right, my friend. Tom Lu, 87,000, 8.7 million shares. Exactly. Helps shorts the cover from this New York article. Exactly. The share price made uh, down and, and to and last until February 22nd. It could, it could. Well said, my friend. Tendy time. And then and, and ends Alzheimer's. Let's go. Oh, yes. The other thing I wanted to show, thank you for bringing that up. Uh, I'll, tell you, I'll bring up the end Alzheimer's. Well, well, I'll send out the link for end Alzheimer's. I'll bring it up real quick. The, the site end Alzheimer's. And also I'll bring up the questions that we want to ask Dr. Apter. End Alzheimer's. And Alzheimer's. So just a bare bones site right now. I just I've got but I've, the excellence. The, 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 be the beauty of it is I've got the Hillary Metz interview. I've got the Dr. Doug Bacon interview, the Dr. Edward Boyer interview, and the Mr. Remy Barbier interview up there. I'll, I'll do uh, edits of uh, 
of Hillary and Doug and, and put those up as well. And tomorrow, Dr. Jeffrey after we'll, we'll do the, this, the interview of him right here. That'll be totally awesome. So that'll be really, really, really great. And while we're chatting, I'll bring up uh, the graphs of those other uh, small molecules targeting misfolding proteins that have a greater and greater effect over time. Oh, also on Seeking Alpha, the there's somebody just released an article. It was supposed to be about uh, cassava, like oh, and then what what it was is about uh, they like it was about immune bios, like we and there was like so look at immune instead of cassava, whatever. But then they put it on the cassava page, which they don't do, except they did today. If it's about if it's not, it's only supposed it's supposed to be about just cassava. The guy wrote one about uh, anavis, and I mentioned cassava. But they wouldn't put on the Anavis page because it talks about cassava. Well, this one was about immune. Mentioned cassava. They put it on the cassava page. It shouldn't have even been on the immune page. Grr. Grr. I can't find this article because Seeking Alpha has locked me out of my stuff. So now I can't even find this. Right, let me find it real quick anyway. Long-term small molecule study. Sorry, just found it. 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 Okay, let's check this out. So, I wrote this before the nine-month data came out, and so the idea is here is uh, at at six. Uh, there, there's semiflam versus placebo. I'm sorry, at, at six months, there is an Aricept at six months versus placebo, and an Aricept falls off like crazy. Well, I sure hope that doesn't happen with Semifilam. Well, it looks like it won't. So here's these small molecules that target misfolded proteins. And some of them, there, there's these, like, like these are like, okay. But they, they're, the, the, the point of those, like I looked at all seven of them. The point of those first ones were they weren't studied very well, but what was studied did not, they didn't look bad. Then these were studied better, and they looked good. So the first one, over time, the, the difference between placebo and the effect got greater and greater over time. Uh, here, this, this one, so you want this line here as it gets lower, that's a greater effect over time, a, lo a lower effect over time on that one. This one here, as these separate by three separate measures, as these separate and as these separate, this drug by three separate measures, and look at that, that's 30 months, 33 months. They kept on, it just kept on getting better. It just kept on getting better. And here's another one. Uh, over two years, the effect kept on getting better. So the idea is the small molecules targeting misfolding proteins do, in fact, uh, tend to get the effect tends to get better and better over time. So yeah, 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 great stuff. Hi, Joe. The renewed FUD offensive smells like one last dead cat bounce to me. I uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that somebody else said it. There's the New Yorker piece really reeked of desperation. So yeah. And then I saw somebody else say we should go after the editor in chief of the New Yorker and say, "Did you see this? Say something about the piece." Like I was saying before, the contra for the controversial stuff at magazines and newspapers, it seems like the editor is the one that does the controversial stuff. If somebody covers the local like school putting on a, a parade or whatever, that's one thing. But when they cover the controversial stuff, it's the editor. And so the editor's name is Remnick, I think, David Remnick. And it looks, I guess, he's the one that green lighted it. And somebody said, should we go? We should not go to him like, oh my gosh, did you see this? We should just know that that person seems to be a, one of the people that's helping the Fudsters probably for money. So, so I believe the lighting problem, because you have uh, sat in front of the window, you're right. And uh, it's sat where the window is facing the sun that can help. Yeah, right, right, right. So I uh, agreed. Yeah, if I, if I use God as a gaffer, as they say, if I use God as a gaffer, use the, the daylight. Right. And, or, and then somebody else said, just turn the auto off. You gotta, I gotta, the, uh, this, the auto right now it's working, but, but sometimes it, it doesn't work well. I don't know. Yeah. I'm thinking about switching the, the getting a better set and things like that. So there's so much somebody suggested. Thank you. Jay. Hi, Joe. Been hearing some rumblings with some inventors about the rec registering their Sava shares with computer share. I guess it is supposed to help fight naked shorting. What is your take? Interesting. Now, cause so computer share, you can, there's some, uh, so it, you, this is like an old program. I looked into this a, like a while ago, uh, or not not even a while ago. I looked into it like a year ago when I when I, I, I originally looked at script dividends for AT and T. What AT and T and T could do when when they were paying a really high qualified dividend, what they could have done 
is they could have uh, bought back instead of paying that dividend, they could have bought back shares each year, each however often, and then paid out share dividends instead of cash dividends. And then people that want the cash dividend can just sell them in the market, and uh, and they get their cash dividend. And then people, uh, and then but other, otherwise, but you can you can otherwise you can hold them, and then they can compound over time. And so anyway, they can be a, it can be a, a it can be a, a way to make a to make a sort of virtual IRA. Anyway, so I, I looked into so there's computer share, so you can you can a computer share you can some some in a, so I looked at some of these programs for dividends, and and while looking into that. There's there's uh, dividend reinvestment programs, automatic reinvestment programs. A lot of these companies have them through computer share, and so and then they have also you can just buy shares. These programs have you can just buy shares like from Coca Cola for example. Coca Cola you can buy shares directly, f- sort of directly from Coca Cola. What you actually do is buy them from computer share. You, you, like what Jay is saying, you directly list, directly registering your shares. So that used to be before the age of like E Trade and stuff. That was actually a service. So then it's like, well, there's really no value to that anymore. Well, now you keep it out of the hands of the gosh dang brokers, I, I suppose. Uh, so that's a really interesting thing. So that's that's on, on for you and for for small timers. I don't know if it's going to help, but it's a really interesting idea, Jay, and, and another another way to fight. So it's really good thinking. Thank you. Your eyeballing skills way better than Doctor Clown Bick. <laughs> Doctor Clown Bick, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you, Daly. Sandy Adams, are you giving Remy this information, New York article and the option setup? I'm sure he saw the New Yorker. Uh, the option, no, but I'm, I'm, th- those, um, I'm, I, I, the New Yorker for sure, and the options I bet he knows about. But I'll mention if I, if I, if I, if I uh, send him another email. I think the share price will be down at the open due to the puts and then rise. We've seen so many times on a, on a good day for Saba, it, it gets destroyed for the first 30 minutes for some reason. They, I think because when people want to cover or when they want to accumulate, maybe they crush it first to make it look like what like Jim Cramer was saying in that same interview where he talks about all the, the dastardly stuff that they do. He was saying he would foment in the beginning of the day to make it look like there was going to be a lot of selling to take the win out of people's sales and, and to have them not buy thinking it's going to go up, it's going to go down. Maybe they would even sell. And then he would then turn turn around. It, well, and then in his case, they were just short it. But in this case, it looks like they're then buying it low. Wayne, this is our week. Let's effing go, savages. That's right. We're not leaving. We're not leaving. Thank you, Wayne. Seve, CDC. Hi, Joe. Great stuff, my man. Thank you, my friend. Question, will these shorts ever get kicked in the mouth for a change? Uh, I mean, hopefully we can help help, help do that. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we're helping do it now. Maybe I, it seemed like they thought the price was going to be a lot lower. So hopefully we're fighting back against the FUD. Hopefully we're doing it now. Great chart clearly shows results. Darn Skippy. Bernard, great to see you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Great to see you. Keyshawn. Hi, Joe. Looks like there are no shares left to short unless retail is starting to sell through the recent article. Thoughts? Well, yes. Yeah, so like on E-Trade, it'll say like hard to borrow and things. But remember, we saw the numerous articles about like, for example, the prime, so it's the prime brokers. So like uh, Goldman Sachs, a hedge fund will say, I want to short this, but there's not enough to short, right? The prime broker will say, "Don't you worry about that. We'll uh, we get the right to say uh, to, to, we get the right to, to to let you short and then have two days to deliver." Oh, we couldn't deliver. Well, we can hide that in our international subsidiary. So anyway, they can they can short. They were they they, they have it documented in emails. People saying, "We will let you fail. We'll, we'll do let you do fails to deliver." So you, yep, you can short it, and so you'll put an extra sell into the market, creating a phantom share, even though there's not one. They were, and, and and you can give us a fee for that. So. Or give us your business for that uh, anyway. Do you think Remy has any uh, PR coming in the near future to combat the shorts? Yes, I do. I don't know that, but yes, I do think that. Gary, so a fail to deliver is putting a limit order on an option out of the money, thus open interest that never executes? No. A fail to deliver is there's there's T plus two, which is nonsense. So you uh, you go to you sell a sell, you you go to sell short, so you have to borrow it and then sell it. So you borrow it and then sell it. Only you have two days to actually have it delivered when you borrow it. So the prime broker says, yep, we'll, we'll get you your share. Go ahead and, and sell short. And then and then you go to, to actually have it. And it's like, oh, you know what? There never was a share anyway. Oops. And they, we, they do it systematically as a pattern. That's a fail to deliver. They can't deliver it because there never was a share. But they let you put an extra sell into the market anyway. Extra selling pressure. Creating a phantom share. 
it's like you're trying to sell your house and somebody else makes another title for it and like uh, and floods the market with more of your houses and now you can't sell yours because somebody else is gonna is selling it already. There's already you can somebody else is listing your house for half the price already. That's what it's like. Naked Bacon. It was about both INMB and Saba. He has long both stocks. Yeah. Not yeah, agreed, but still. Any chance it seemed to me that they were I, I didn't I didn't actually read it. It just seemed to me that they were it was sort of damning with faint praise that uh that cassava's not the answer. Look, let's look at this other one. When it seems to me cassava has just the overwhelming, why would you be looking at something else when this is this one is just smacking you in the face and uh, it's not getting its due. Any chance FDA is delaying citizen petition dismissal while it awaits CMS biomarker data? Might they not issue accelerated approval simultaneously at dismissing citizen petition? Well, gosh darn, that would be pretty great. And it's not just uh, accelerated approval we want, it's breakthrough therapy designation. So it's not just fast track, not just accelerated approval. We want, we want uh, breakthrough therapy. But great, I mean, I hope so. They, maybe they're waiting on biomarker data. Maybe they issue uh, a, a designation with uh, the dismissal. That would be pretty great. And then they'd send those clowns to uh, the Federal Trade Commission or something. But we can dream. Alex, next time you interview Remy, ask him if he regrets mentioning Saba is on the verge of rapid growth and a large non-dilutive cash infusion. I think the citizen petition followed just a couple weeks later. Is that the way? I thought it was. I thought it, I thought it was the other way around, but maybe maybe I'm sure maybe you're right. I think he should have been silent. Yeah, it's such a tightrope for him. If he doesn't say anything, people are like, "Why doesn't he say anything? Look at all that's happening." And if he says stuff, he gets he gets they they use everything and anything against him. Immune essay article is strongly pro Sava. Authors long both stocks. Okay. Okay. I, my apologies then. Sorry about that. Actually, the new essay article is very bullish for both Sava and IMNB. I'm owning this, owing to the science, it says Sava hands down offers the very best risk for any stock. Oh, okay. Then, then I very much apologize to, to the author, especially. Sorry about that. Gordon Wolf. But the, now, the, the, when I said this seeking alpha in my tweet, when I said seeking alpha pieces, uh, they did last week, but then we saw Simonian and Castains, and then a, a comment or something or other somebody said by CC. Uh, Gordon Wolf, I own the stock and have a great deal of hope for the company and watch your videos. I'm sorry to have said I wish that you would tone down the acting like an idiot. Okay. You got to be more specific. Uh, SMNB, is it true that Remy got $30 million out of Remoxy? That seems totally disproportionate. Well, I don't know. I don't know what he, I mean, the fact is they got rejected four times and it takes a long time to bring a drug to market. So I, I don't know what his compensation was over that time. I don't think it was 30 million. I, I, I frankly, no, I don't think it was, but, but then again, I mean, he may have just found He founded a company. So when he did that, he probably got options and they're probably including the value of the increase in his equity. There's no way. He, I don't think there's any way he got 30 million in cash. Did you send your interview transcript with Hillary to the FDA as a comment for them to read during the comment review process to the citizen petition? I did not. It's a good idea. Rainer, 115 views versus 40 likes. Please like for the algorithm. Yeah, please like. We need to share this stuff. It's not enough just to get angry about it. We have to share this stuff and get a lot of eyeballs. Power in numbers. Uh, sunshine is the best uh, disinfectant. So yeah, please like the please like the video. Please share it too. Please send it to people and, and say start watching this stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Please like and share and subscribe. Thanks very much, Jay. Apparently direct registering reduces the broker's street name shares and in turn reduces the shares they can actually lend out for shorting. Exactly, yep, that, that, that would make sense. So great idea, really thinking out of the box. No, okay, citizen petition came later. Yeah, that's what I thought. First was Adam Furstein hit piece that made the price dive. Well, the, I think it was the, the abuse of naked shorting and then that their, their Adam First thing, cover hit piece was the cover, so they do that. They hit, hit, so he got a great job. They it's 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 like being the weatherman after the weather. So they do the naked shorting to drive it down directly. And he says, "Oh, look what here's why it wasn't the direct, it wasn't the abuse of naked shorting, which doesn't exist. It was the fact that this that they uh, this is a fraudulent company." Then Remy mentioned about infusion of cash in the beginning of August. Then Sisman came in mid August to tank the price again before expiry. Oh, okay, 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 okay. 
Cassava should apply to European, Asian, South American authorities for drug approval as well. Do you know if they're working on that? Even if FDA rejects it, that's only for USA. Ben, I'm with you. I think that they're going to do that through partnerships because they just have so much on their plate and they are a small company. But frankly, I'm with you. If the if the gosh darn FDA is going to be so intractable, maybe it's time to, to get the internationals. And by the way, I mean, this is not a controlled substance. It's not a controlled substance. So once this is on the market internationally, I don't know if you guys do like uh, all day chemist or something like that. As long as it's not a controlled substance, you can get uh, prescription medications. You can get medicines uh, in, in any, like very easily these days. So if, if they were selling somifolam anywhere, like in Europe, you could definitely order it and then it just wouldn't be a problem. Joseph Bolo, are you are not acting at all like an idiot? Passion for what you do is contagious. We support you like the South Africans. Thank you very much. One thing I want to do is, is, is I, and sometimes I don't always do it, but I, I do want to sort of be happy and spread cheer. And I, I feel like I feel, I feel like what's happening with cassava is sort of happening. The, there's the central powers are being pretty bad these days. They're not just stealing; they're trying to make people miserable. So as we fight back against the stealing, I also want to fight back against the misery as well, with a little bit of upbeatness. So. So thank you very thank you Joseph I appreciate that, and seventy likes thanks guys that thank you somebody said like and then and then and then a whole bunch of likes came in thanks very much, naked bacon so the shorts made a ton of money shorting this to the current share price why wouldn't they now go long and make way more as they can cover and go over one thousand seems to me they would want to go long now they may I mean I, that that article seemed really desperate and Pitt and Brett said they were no longer short although it didn't mention the competitor the the the, the, the fact that they're in with the room of competitors. Or the or, or the the competing in the epilepsy either, but they seem to be distancing themselves from shorting. And then the fact they did say they deserve five Nobel Nobels, so I think they made their money for sure, obviously. And then I think that uh, when this at some point when the citizen petition is not when the when well I guess when the when the phase three data comes in, they're going to say, oh I was wrong, so sorry. When once it's too late and they can't win anymore. They've set it up to say, you know what? You do deserve the Nobels and I'll keep my money. Sorry about trying to stop the trials and kill millions of people. And yeah, thank you, Naked. Or Bernard or see, oh, we have a whole bunch, whole bunch. Whoa, whole bunch came in. Jesse, uh, yet the pound the table about we need a safe and effective, yeah, they pound the table that we need a safe and effective cost-friendly treatment. Well, you may very well have one. It's just not coming from Big Pharma. Frustrating to say least. Exactly, Jesse. They, they've, they've got exactly this giant billions, hundreds of billions of cost savings staring at them. But none of them are, are in bed with uh, the people. Like they're in bed with Big Pharma. So they're gonna, the, the politicians are sociopathic leaders, care more about the dollars than the people. C. Shad, interesting that the Fudsters infiltrated several Discord, Discord groups last week. That's right. It's more. That's another. Uh, in addition to the, the coordinated, I mean, the articles we saw, they were they also infiltrated the Discords, including mine, trying to find more info for their attack articles. Yeah. Bernard, wow, that's like telling Meet Kevin not to dye his hair while listening to his every word. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So, so if, if you're saying don't act like an idiot, yeah, I'm trying to trying to trying to be fun. Yeah, now meet Kevin didn't meet his fitness goals, so he shaved his head. So he's uh, he's he's rocking my style these days. Jay, what about reaching out to the, uh, the doctor that knows two hundred patients who improved? That'd be a great interview. Yes, it would definitely, definitely. Uh, and 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 that may be I don't know, but uh, I want to. Gosh, I got so much to do, but I, I want to reach out to Doctor Gonzalez Rojas, who we got that great anecdote from way back after the phase two B results. Uh, and she's, she's, she's run lots and lots of uh, Alzheimer's trials. So, uh, and, and, and she already gave us a good anecdote. So hopefully I'd love to have her on. And, and I don't know if she is, she, she possibly could be this doctor. Although I think Hillary Metz said her doctor was a man. So thank you. Donut check, Joe, we got us back. Thank you, Bernard. <laughs> appreciate that. I appreciate all you do, Joe. Jesse, appreciate, I appreciate you and everyone as well. Thank you very much. Thanks. James, citizen petition has a little effect for the share price with the large institutional investors. News of the phase three study will move the share price. Yep. That's the other thing I, I didn't call out about the, that, that article is they said, oh, that the institutional investors were running. Well, overall, I think our institutional investorship actually increased in, in, in total. And there were some that decreased, some individual ones that decreased. They may have just decreased their biotech investments across the board or something. But yeah, that was a, that was a total hit piece that New Yorker piece was. Naked Bacon, are you ready for spring training in Jupiter? Oh my gosh, this time is flying. 
Wow, it is. Yeah, it's spring. It's spring training time in Jupiter. I guess so. Man, geez, how did that happen? That was quick. Yeah, now it's been light because of COVID. So when I first moved here, uh, the spring training, there's I, I live right by a, a right by a baseball stadium here. I walk my dog right by it. But uh, when I first moved here, that was sort of that was sort of a happening thing. And then COVID hit, and then it was a, it's sort of been quiet. I, I wonder if it'll be big this year. Subri, I love all the testimonies and interviews you already made. However, I think the interview with Dr. Apter tomorrow will have the greatest impact since it's coming from a highly qualified physician. I agree. I'm very excited for that. I, I was very happy about that. I think this is really big. And I think he agreed right after the Hillary Metz interview. I think Hillary gave such a good interview that, uh, that it, it sort of lent me and the channel credibility. So thanks again to Hillary for that. Michael, I really hate to think what the fate of Semifalan would be without all you and the Discord are contributing. Uh, we, we all, we all, all, all of us are playing a part, and I, I tend to agree. I, they, man, it seems like there's no, it seems like the the checks and balances of the system itself may not be working. I really hate to think what it would be if it wasn't for for all of us. I also think Remy and his amazing team are fans and deeply appreciate your efforts. I, I, I have been a little bit flattered that. Uh, uh, I've gotten I've gotten likes here and there, and and a little bit of a little bit of attaboys here and there from people, and it, it's just it's it's been very nice. So I, I really appreciate that, Michael. Thank you, Rainer. I'm so excited about Doctor Apter. He certainly has uh, his has firsthand information, and it comes from an absolute expert in the field of Alzheimer's. We should be smarter tomorrow. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll learn tomorrow for sure. I, I I'm so excited too. I can't wait. That that's that's he's going to be great. That's that's a wonderful thing. Magnificent. Joe, have you tried contacting Seeking about getting back? They have no legal right to demand to know who the author of the doc is on the platform. It's not theirs. I have not. I, I like doing uh, YouTube. And frankly, uh, I don't YouTube, even Seeking Alpha before they officially shut me out, they were erasing like every comment I made. They're in the bag against Saba. They are totally like they are they're, and then when and so I was trying to, to link people to my blog, they kept erasing those comments. And then the other Anthony, not 83, but the other Anthony started posting things about cassava on his blog. And, and as soon as he did that, they, they took the blogs away as soon as his, his article started getting uh, readers because he was getting more than 3000, which is a lot for a blog in like a day. That's a lot for a blog. They're seeking alpha articles don't get that sometimes. And that, then they immediately said, up, oh, no more blogs for you. And so they're in, it doesn't matter if they turn me back on or not. They they want Saba to fail. They're in bed with. I told you when I first submitted the article on Seeking Alpha, it it sat there and 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 the Cassava Sciences just sat there and this, the article sat there for more than twenty four hours. But then I saw the little spinning orange thing because I kept waiting. I kept re, re, like refreshing. When are you gonna? Because I really wanted to release it. And as soon as they started editing it, the share price went up fifteen percent. They told the shorts, "Here comes a, here comes an article." So. Now I was I was long and long options, so thank you for that seeking alpha, but uh, they're in with the shorts in my opinion. So I, I really don't want to be back on. They're, they're only gonna they they, they and then when and they from this is from the beginning. So th what th when I first submitted that article, that it, the stock went up like that, like fifteen percent, like immediately in minutes, minutes. Uh, but uh, then also I forgot I was gonna say that there's something else that they, they did. Oh, then I, I was like, well, uh, well maybe I'll, I would be interested in, in being one of your sub, doing one of your subscription services, being an author for that. And the guy doing the subscription service was like mad at me for writing about cassava. He was like, he he was he told me to write about like the, you only write about one stock, and I would written about all these other stocks, but he, he like just basically he did everything he could to, to, to discourage me from writing about cassava. They basically at seeking out, they basically did everything they could to push back about cassava at every turn while still faking like a fair and impartial entity. Why the short interest is so high because of the competitors and the hedge funds and the fact that it's a, that they feel like they can fix it. The partners, they were the partnerships, the, and the, the partnerships and the competitors have a lot of interest in making fake shares and just regular short shares to also increase the share count because that increases the share count, but it increases the share count makes it makes their, makes their share price lower. And uh, makes it harder for them to raise money. Makes it possibly get a, a, a value, a lower value party valuation. Makes it harder for them to get a get full full value. Now they could still get it for sure, but it makes it harder. If their if their if their price was way way higher in the market, and they, like if they were going for eighty billion, then to get bought out for a hundred billion is not so is not so tough. But if the if the if if doing all the phantom shares, they can short them down to. To single digit billions. Oh, gee, 100 billion. I'm not going to give you that. Sorry. So there's a lot of money at stake. 
Zavian, if authorities don't soon prosecute and severely punish the illegal short distort gang, every day Carrie and Jane will file citizen petition against promising companies using nasty, nefarious hedge fund and lawyers. I tend to agree, and I'm really glad the FDA sent the last, we saw the one with PAR, they sent, the hedge, they sent that citizen petition over to uh, the FTC, Federal Trade Commission, for unfair trade practices. So I hope, I hope that I'd like to see in that. So I, I tend to agree. If, if there's no, the check, if they, we need checks and balances. There seems to be not enough of them. I stock picks. Sava should perform a press release. Re, uh, perform a press release regarding this short seller. What do you think, Joe? I, I mean, and I think that it's it, it, that's not a bad idea at all. I'm not against it. Sure, I'd really love to get them to go a step further and take matters into their own hands and issue that preferred share dividend, ten to one, one for ten, uh, one one colon ten uh, preferred share dividend on the blockchain. I think that would screw those shorts. Magnificent. Longs need the presence of Longs on Seeking Alpha, though. I mean, if it, Seeking Alpha is going to fight us so much, like I, that's I'm for it. But I, it's just I, this for me. I can get more. I, I feel like I can get more. I can get the message out there better streaming for me. Uh, because plus, like the articles take a long, long time, and I can stream twice a day. Alex Saba needs a big pharma partner. It's obvious FDA, DC politicians are corrupt and you have to play their game. I've emailed my two US centers in Kansas about the issue and hope for action. I hope for action too, Alex. Jim Lachance, I've subscribed to the new channel. Thank you, everybody. Or thank you. Everyone needs to subscribe. Thanks for all you do, Joe. Uh, keep being you. Thank you, my friend. Oh yeah, I did. I did send it. I, did, I tweeted and stock tweeted uh, the new channel with the Saba, dollar sign Saba. So if you look for Saba, I, I tweeted and stock the end Alzheimer's channel. So yeah, uh, please subscribe to that channel and we'll, I'll tweet the uh, invitation to this uh, interview with Dr. After tomorrow. Thank you, Jim. Thanks very much, my friend. Thanks. And thanks for being here, Frank, friend. Thank you. Rainer, are there any opportunities to get your end Alzheimer's videos on the FDA comments site of the citizen petition? I guess if we can put, if you can put up, if you put a link up, I guess you can put links in your, in your, your yeah, why not? I bet you could. That's a now. That's a great idea to get actual like to listen to Hillary talk. Yeah, now that's a great idea, Rainer. Yeah, Gunther, the testimonials are great. Do you have more in the pipeline? Well, we have Doctor After Tomorrow who treats patients, so he'll give us a lot of firsthand witness testimonials. I, I hope of all of some of of of, of, I don't know, of whatever sort. No, at the moment I don't, but great uh, idea. That's something I want to do because I completely agree. The testimonials are sensational. So yeah, I, I want to do as many as we can. Johnny, FDA decision on citizens petition may help Remy decide whether to proceed with preferred blockchain dividend. That you know what? It could, could be. I hope so. I hope so. I sure hope so. I, I sure hope so because they could, they could do that and then they, would they wouldn't have to issue cash right away, but they could if they wanted to. And it would, they, the point is the, the, you, you couldn't fake buying those preferred shares and they're just, they'd be issuing too many. They, the shorts would have to cover because there's no way they could, they could collect those shares in time. They would have to cover before those shares are issued. Rainer, maybe you can speak to one of the other uh, board members of Saba. I think the last came from Johnson and, and John, Pfizer and Johnson Johnson. Ask them why they joined Scasava. Yeah, I didn't like that they took Mr. Gusson's uh, comments seemingly out of context. I mean, he just, in general, it seemed to me he was in general just saying that he liked when CEOs talk conservatively. He didn't, he, they didn't, they couldn't get a sentence about, oh, Mr. Barbier talked too aggressively and I told him to back off and talk more conservatively. It seemed like he was saying in general, I like when people talk conservatively and they took that out of context. So speaking of which, I think uh, Mr. Gusson's brother, who's also a very successful person, has liked some of my stuff on LinkedIn. So he, I think we, I think, uh, I think there are some of the, some of them are paying attention, which is pretty cool. All right, my friends, great to see you. So the, the, the New Yorker piece made me mad, but it's a good sign that, uh, that they're desperate and we're getting to them. And they, and plus they had not, it's not like there was any, there wasn't, was there anything new in there? There wasn't anything new in there. It was all the same rehashed crap. Should be like a, uh, a it's like a Kevin James movie. It's a re reheated turd. <laughs> <laughs> Brooks performance new channel is a great move thanks Joe and thanks for everybody suggesting that it, it, it's it, it's the right move to make, to make a more serious channel because I want to have some fun but then it, it's some things for this for this need to be very serious so it was the right move so thank you thank you Brooks and thanks uh, everyone that suggested it as well all right my friends great to see you uh, yeah so the New Yorker piece made me mad but you know what it's just a sign 
If that's the best they can do, there wasn't one new thing in there, and it was all the same reheated crap. So good stuff. That, that's, that's actually good news. So uh, we'll, we'll do it again at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. That'll be good. And then at 3 o'clock, Dr. Jeffrey After will join us. Uh, that'll be a terrific interview. I can't wait. Uh, please spread the word. I'll tweet that inter- invitation to that out tonight. Uh, please spread the word and, and help get a lot of people there and help spread the word. That, that's going to be just, he has so much credibility. That's just going to be terrific. So great to see you. Have a wonderful evening. See you tomorrow.